Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. Well, today's going to be the first video, first instance of me using my brand new Armands. I was able to build my Armands during uh, CVC. Um, you know, it was kind of painful waiting for him for a couple days, but you know, it is what it is, right? I want to save my books and all that stuff for CVC. So I finally built him out. If you guys are struggling for books and you guys want to use Armands, definitely check out my most recent video on Armands fully unbooked he's awesome everywhere even in arena but obviously if you want to optimize his abilities definitely use armands fully booked so i'm gonna show you guys my armands here real quick and i'm gonna probably try to make him like the showcase or feature of this live arena video but here's my armands um i actually got a pretty big upgrade from earlier filling out one part of the faction guardians i got an extra 30 accuracy on him so no blessings yet um, I got him at 341 speed with 670 accuracy. I think that's pretty good, pretty solid. I would like him to be like 20 speed faster at least. And I think that's probably the uh, limits of my gear. Um, I could go for faction guardians, which gives me an extra 10 speed, but that's going to be uh, you know a couple pulls away for sure. Uh, I got a couple, a little bit of room on the big glyphs, but not too much. So I think 360 might be the limit for me for Armands, unless I start getting like empowerment and all that stuff. But I think in the build that he is in right now, four piece stone skin, it's going to be very, very good. Uh, if I had better like uh, perception pieces, maybe that would be even stronger with the extra accuracy. But I think you have to make him fast and accurate. So you know it's going to be a limit for your gear, right? You're not going to have like stone skin and all. You know, it's going to be hard to put him with stone skin, make him fast, make him highly accurate. Uh, so do the best that you can for your roster, of course. Let's check out my standings. 228, so I've been slowly dropping in rankings. I haven't been playing that much since Narciss and since Armands has been introduced into the meta. Um, obviously, those two would be a bit of trouble if I don't use them myself. Um, but yeah, let's jump into some fights. We only have 37 minutes, so I'm going to try to uh, keep it uh, brisk. Brisk fighting here. Let's go. Let's go. I haven't been, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't been playing too much, um, and I've been waiting on my Armands. Um, I'm on track to get the five-star Armand Soul, so that'll be helpful. I mean, that's an extra 75 accuracy um, on top of my 670 already, so that definitely makes things, uh, will make things uh, kind of interesting. Here we go. I'm going to go Armands first. It's going to be an Armands PvP showcase in a live arena. Let's do it. I'm going to pick him. If I get first pick, I'm going to pick him every time. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to pick him every time. He's just like one of those champions that... And you know what? Actually, I would like to see what they, your opponent does to counter Armands. Because that's a big thing too, right? So for me, I'm going to go with these two, uh, Sifi and Taras. Like they're just generalists, very good. He's trying to go first with his Suzanne. Um, so we might do something like um, put Tormund in this as well. Tormund might be able, uh, uh, might give us a way to counter him. He's trying to go Suzanne into um, Makage full stun. He's going Narciss now, so Narciss makes sense. I can pick Rodos basically without um, without any issues because he won't be able to pick UDK, but then he has a DPS to pick. So let's see here. Let's see here. So I'm gonna probably ban Narciss. Narciss or Ancora? If I ban Ancora, he doesn't have a cleanser anymore. Let's go Tormin and yeah, I'm gonna ban Ancora, and I think that's gonna be pretty good. My Tormin is actually DPS, but of course he can play uh, support, right? So I'm gonna ban Ancora. He won't have any sheep, and unless he picks like Ronda or something, it's not gonna be too problematic, I think. Let's see where this goes. Leorius, so he's trying to play unstunned. So I'm going to ban Ancora. He's going to ban Armands, most likely. Yeah. Uh, we'll pick Resistance. Try to fight off the uh, Makage. But it looks like he's probably going to go first here. Uh, if he goes first, he might get frozen. Uh, no sheeps on his side, so he might be okay. Let's see where this goes. <clears throat> Should be a good fight, I think. Hopefully. Stone skin. If Narciss gets a turn, we probably lose. That's the thing. And of course, the ally attack from Akage is very... Uh, oh, man. Didn't freeze Didn't freeze anybody? Come on. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. I think we're going to lose everybody here. 
No shields, so no double hit. Okay. Gotta pick him up. Big slam here from uh, Big Boy. Might kill everybody. He does. Gonna go again. Well, that kind of sucked. Going first is still very important. The lack of freeze from the Tormund on the uh, first buff here from Suzanne, I think that really hurt. But anyways, I think the strategy was kind of sound. Um, maybe the ban wasn't good. But I think if he had Ancora, he can just easily um, counter any of the freeze shenanigans. So maybe we needed to go another direction instead of the freeze. Mm. All right. Same guy again. So we get a little rematch here. So we know he has Suzanne, Narciss, Leo, Makage. Okay, let's see what happens here. We could go like CP Makage, Warlord. But I think we're going to go Armands here every time. He might go Armands to stop us. No, we're going to go Armands. Um, Armands with the... Uh, I mean, we can go CP here too. Armands plus CP. Let's see if he goes for Suzanne again. Just to try to go first. Going Narciss. Might go Ancora again. Um, okay, so let's see. I think we're going to switch it up here. We're not going to use Tormund. We're going to go with the Warlord. Warlord's going to get a turn. Most likely he is in Stone Skin. Um, and for DPS. I'm going to go with the Wukong. Wukong, if he dies to the AoE, can come back after Narciss. And of course, if he picks Leo, Wukong is very strong against Leo. I also like double speed lead here. Give us a chance to go first. See what he's going to pick here. He's going for the Roto. Plus four Rotos. Pretty scary stuff. We have to pick a DPS. So it's going to be Harima here to help against the Rotos. Um, he's going to go first. Slam us. And get rid of his reviver this gives us a chance uh like for example if wukong dies comes back and then we can one shot the team gives us a little chance here my champions are in stone skin so he won't be able to blast us right away i think of course armands goes for uh is out first so this is actually pretty good because we have the speed lead here so maybe we can go first our cp is pretty fast if we can get the lockout going but he does have makage so makage might come in and do some some stuff here Damn, he still goes first. It is a pretty fast Suzanne. Pretty, pretty fast Suzanne here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Big blast. Does Sifi live? Sifi lives. That's good. Buff up. Who's going first? Makage. A little bit annoying. Lock him out. Turn meter. Yes, turn meter drop on the um, Rotos. Gonna pick up here. Gonna go for the big blast. Nice. Okay, so it's gonna be the whole team versus Rotos. His Rotos is plus four. Um, so it's pretty strong. He gets an extra turn here. Nope. Okay, let's do it. GG. That's what you get. Good game, man. GG. Actually, that was a pretty good one. Uh, plus four Rotos here from him. Six star fully maxed out. Very, very nice. But like I said in the beginning, Sun Wukong gives us a chance to come back if he gets blasted right away by Narciss. So it worked out perfectly fine there for us. A half an hour here going on. So far, no action from Armands yet. I mean, no, our, I want to see the statistics for Armands right now in terms of ban rate. He must be banned, like, he must be the highest banned champion. 
uh, in like high high tier um, arena, a live arena right now. He he has to be, I think, unless there's like a Czech champion against you that hurts you so bad. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think like what is the the hardest checks in the game, right? Like UDK against Rotos. That's one of the hardest checks in the game. But do you ban UDK if you're running Rotos, or do you ban Armands? I don't know. I don't. I think maybe your odds of winning improve. Maybe your odds of winning are better against UDK than it is against Armands. To be honest, it's one of those questions, right? Like Armands is just one of those champions that hurts you so bad. Um, so it's meta changing champion, right? You need you need champs that have stone skin to deal with Armands, or you need to go faster in Armands, or you ban Armands. That's I tried Tormin to check Armands. Didn't really work out that well for me. But yeah. The, definitely a tough champion deal. Wow, 7,400 players. So this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. But let's see if Armands is up for it. At least these fights will be fast. We know these fights will be fast, right? See where this goes. Come on. Oh, he's going for Narciss. It's kind of interesting you go for Narciss without seeing Taros, but see if he makes sense. I think same strategy here. We're going to go for the Wukong. And we'll try to maybe ban his speed lead so he doesn't go first. Or ban his fastest champion so he doesn't go first. We'll try try some strategy here. Okay, so he didn't do that. I mean, he's most likely going to go first here. Ancora. We could ban Ancora. Try to lock him out. Um, I'm going to take Rodos here and probably ban Ancora. Or maybe Narciss. Three supports are picked. So Rodos comes in clean. Cleanly. What's our last pick going to be? Guess we could go to Ross, ban him. We're picking a lot of damage dealers here. You can't pick any supports. I mean, here. We got three damage dealers. So let's try this. I mean, Wukong's kind of interesting, right? Well, we got three damage dealers. All right, so he's going to go with Harima. Do we go first? We might go first. We might actually go first. We ban Ancora, go first. Okay. We might go first. We might go first. Maybe. Probably not, actually. Probably not. Let's see what happens here. I'm taking a little bit of a risk, but obviously I um seeing that this player is 7400 rank, he's definitely um probably a much stronger player than me, so I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. I'm taking my two six star uh, sheep champions. Let's try to counteract this Makage uh, that's gonna stun our ass. Uh he is locked out, but you know, see if he's pretty good, even locked out. There we go, got the sheep off. That's good. He can sleep to Ross or boost. He's probably gonna boost. And then triple hit the Rodos. Oh, he sleeps. Hmm. See where this goes. Oh, he's locked out. That's good. So A1 here. All right, A1. Oh, triple hit. Oh, no. Weak hit. Weak hit. No. Would have been nice to get a weak hit on the Wukong, but I think we're probably going to lose this one here. He just has, like, obviously a better balanced team, right? We don't have much support here.
Yeah, not enough damage coming from uh, that. Obviously with the Harima out there as well. Don't think this is going to be able to kill him and then he's going to one-shot everybody on our side. But I think we have to take the risk here and try to one-shot him. Oh! Oh, that's massive. No stun? He's just got the A1 left, right? Boom! Boom! Triple, triple attacker does him in. Oh, wow. Okay, that actually ended up working out for us. Wukong comes in clutch again. Very good um, first two fights for Wukong here. The lockout gave us just enough time uh, stalling him out um, to, to give us the attacks needed to bring down some of his, uh, his champs. Obviously, Harima passive very, uh, very uh, strong, right? Obviously, 50% ignore defense is now ignored. Um, Taras one shot against the Narciss, even though Harima was on the board. Very, very good. Super impactful um, A2 there from Taras. Ooh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I don't want to rematch against that guy. I think that guy's got my number for sure. Okay, okay. This guy's new, but... I mean, I've never played against this guy before, but his uh, ranking means he's pretty serious. Pretty serious player. Let's see where we can go with this. Our man's first overall. Okay, our man's first overall. How do we deal with our man's? How do we deal with him? We deal with him with sheep or stone skin. That's pretty much it. Or outspeed him. Mm. I think we go with the Wukong again. Wukong is just pretty solid here against uh, Narciss. Uh, coming in here against the Mikage. Mikage is a little bit annoying. Need some more stone skins. Good go, Harima. Gotta ban this guy, so... Gotta try to go first. Let's do that. We don't want to see UDK here, I think. UDK and Korra. That would be a little bit annoying. Actually, no, he can't go UDK and Korra. He's got two supports already. Uh, if he goes UDK, is actually not the worst, I guess. Yeah, probably not the worst, but... Don't want to see it. What else? What else? I mean, there's a lot of champions you want to avoid here for sure. Yumiko, Crixia, you don't want to see any of those ones. Uh, but maybe we can go first. I don't know. Maybe we can go first. If we go first, then maybe we can do something. Lockout, TM drop. Let's see. Let's go in Rotos. That means we pick UDK here at the end. Who's our ban? Our ban has to be uh, Armands, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's about it. Like, I want to ban Ancora, I think. But leaving Armands here probably means it's a, a, we lose, right? You can just sheep. Yeah, we can't. His sheep ability is too strong, first of all. <clears throat> uh, he probably goes first. I mean, his Makage with the speed lead. I would assume he has like a 400 speed Makage, but we'll see. Maybe maybe uh, our Warlord goes first. I don't know. But Lockout's not going to hurt Makage here. But it will force her to transform. We go first. Yes, we do. That's great. Termier drop. Okay, Termier drop on Narciss. The ally attack's gonna get. He can't ally attack, so he has to go for the full stun. Hopefully, he gets sheep here by Taras. Come on, sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. No sheep. We're sad. Extra turn. Extra turn. turn. That sucks because he's burning off the. Um, he's burning off some of the stuff, right? The, uh, he's burning off the cooldowns, but 
The UDK here should be okay. Good resistance, so I don't know. This Makage might have some. What the heck, man? Comes a double, a single hit. Oh, almost kills him. Look how much extra turns he's getting. That's pretty lucky, right? Okay. I think we can go for the AoE here. See if we can control some of this team. Okay, we do. Here, here is good. Can we get a turn with the Wukong? Boom. Let's go. Boom. Boom. There it is. Impossible to break the UDK here for the Rotos. This is the end. GG, man. Boom. Wukong comes in clutch. First three fights, Wukong actually massive. The, uh, you know, my main reason for picking Wukong actually is because of the speed aura and want to go first. Uh, also, he's very good against Narciss. Uh, because he survives the... He can come back after the big slam, right? Um, luckily, I've also been kind of conscious not picking shield champions to provide shields so that Narciss gets two hits. I realized that if I pick a shield champion, uh, sorry, bolster champion, that gives my you know my whole team shields, Narciss gets the extra hit and he just destroys my, destroys my team, destroys my Taras. So, so far, none of the Narciss that we've been facing have been able to one-shot the Taras um so that's a good thing so now i know that without the double hit you can't kill the tross or at least my tross and yeah so we can kind of work around that i mean it's not like a counter or anything but it's just kind of helpful to have that um at, at least have that little bit to help 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 my uh, tross survive so if he gets a turn then you know he can do some damage uh we haven't faced super tanky teams yet uh i think my my roster can't deal with super super tanky teams like if i'm facing like marichka Sifi, so you got speed turn meter you know strength and whatever healing it's gonna be really hard for my roster to defeat that kind of team so if you have like a grindy team with like a bad or tanky uh nuker um you can slowly grind me down because i just don't have like you know my damage dealers are just not as strong as other damage dealers and if you have really good supports i think that's one way to beat me um obviously you know that's just a limitation of my roster so i'm doing the best i can of course um but uh yeah i think most people kind of like hop in at the beginning and then once they're done they're done not a lot of people um obviously spend gems or whatever um doing the fights for live arena and it doesn't take you two hours to do 10 fights usually. So most people um, are probably out by this time. Um, that kind of sucks, but um, it is what it is. I'm going to take UDK here, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to take Harima. Actually, we'll take Wukong. Wukong is actually pretty good against Taras too, actually. Um, Last thing I want is for him to pick UDK and Rotos if we pick like something like this, right? Because that forces us to ban his UDK. So I think we pick UDK here with our, uh, with the uh, Wukong here. <laughs> Wukong obviously can be countered pretty hard uh, by UDK or by Block Revive. But, uh, yeah, let's see what he's going to do here. He's got... Arima, Arima, Arima counters Rotos really good. He's got his own lockout. Pain in the butt. What do we want to do here? Could bring in Makage. Makage might work, but she's not in stone skin, so she gets slammed. Um, we're basically done. Looks like it might be a ban for Sifi, actually. Sifi? Sifi ban? Reviver. Let's do this. Let's try to do this, guys. We'll just do something really weird. We don't have a great draft against him. If we pick Rotos, we get countered super hard here by Harima. We're going to be locked out, but let's see what we can do here. We're playing many, many supports. We're going to try to CC him to death. And we'll ban Sifi here. gonna go first does going first change anything for us I 
I wanted to ban Sifi. Alright. Let's see what happens. I wanted to ban Sifi. Mainly because we're not going to be able to deal any damage to him. But let's see. Maybe we can. Okay, so he goes boost. We're going to be locked out. No, not locked out yet. Yep, we're going to go for the strip here. It's sheeped. Ah, uh, now we are locked out. Well, that didn't work out for us. Oh. We are locked out. Here, triple hit here. Yeah, I don't think uh don't don't think it's gonna work out for us here. We tried. We tried. All right, let's get back in it. I mean, we we tried, right? We tried a different strategy. It didn't work out this time. I think. I don't. I think if we ban, um, maybe if we ban Sifi, it might have worked because Susan. Susan would have went first. Maybe he picks Yumiko and then locks us out, and then we're kind of jammed up. Damn, this guy. This guy's got my number too. This guy's got my number. I beat him once, uh, but he's got my number for sure. He's got mythicals and all that stuff too. So Warlord's not going to be a top priority. I'm going to go with Arman's first overall pick if I get him. I haven't, like, we barely even got a chance to use this guy. I'm going to go Arman's first. Yeah, we haven't even got a chance to use Arman's, to be honest. He just gets banned. Um... Easy, easy picks for him, right? Easy picks. We got one more support coming in here. And he's got his mythical, mythical champions. Mythical champion. Sheep, sheep. Six star sheeps everywhere. No block revive on his side. I mean, Narciss has block revive on a single target, but no block revives. But yeah, big big blessings on his champions. Right. We probably have time for one more match after this one. Come on. She's locked out, right? She is locked out, so uh, I gotta be careful who I'm sleeping. Keep on Arbus. Oh, that sucks. Come on, Taras, get a turn. Boom. There we go. Let's do it. Get her. Let's do it. Look at this. Look at this sheep stuff. Get her. Get her, sheeps. Get her. Boom. There we go. Got you this time. Go first. Yeah, there we go. Go first. Control the team. Lock them out. And then just slam them. All right. That worked out for us. <laughs> oh, man. It's tough, man. These fights are tough. Like, they're not, they're not easy, man.
These fights are tough. Draft is tough. Yeah. He, I think the big thing is that his uh, Lazurius, I don't think, was in Stone Skin. I think that might be the big, uh, big thing here. Same guy again. All right. I mean, he still has a winning record against us for sure. So let's let's see if we can get our man's in here. We know his Lazurius. He has uh, uh, Arbus. Okay, so those are his damage dealers this time. No Lazurius this time. So he's going for the Arceus. So he's going to go Ancora, I guess. He's going to go Ancora. We're coming in with the lockout. Three supports here. Maybe not lockout right away. I'm gonna go with Wukong. Just because Wukong is actually, like I said, pretty good against these two. Or he's not bad. But uh, I think we're gonna come in here with the lockout still. Might be um, Warlord Rodos. And then we take a chance against his um, UDK at the end. Richka, shit. Forgot about her. <laughs> oh, man, it's tough. It's tough when you play against somebody that has every single champion, right? It's tough. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, and the last pick's gonna be UDK. It's gonna be so sucky. It's so sucky. So sucky. I have to ban. I mean, Marichka's gotta go. It's gotta be Marichka. Still going for Arbus. I think the correct pick is UDK there. UDK checks both of our uh, DPS. We'll probably still go first, still lock him out. Um, I mean, yeah, let's see what happens. This is a much tougher uh, lineup. Lazurius without Stone Skin is much easier to deal with. And we get lucky there with the Sheep. We actually got lucky there with the Sheep. All right, into the full lockout. Can we one shot him? Boom! One shotted. I don't really want to blast when he when he's a sheep like that. Arbus has sheep, so I gotta be careful. This is gonna give him some time, right? Time to recover. Uh, we do save the AoE from the uh, Wukong there. Damn, this is actually kind of bad because Taras has the... Um, Taras is not locked out, right? Taras is not locked out, so this is a little bit of a problem. Revives probably here, right? Yep. Not too many buffs. Maybe we can survive. Also has the A2. Ooh. Yeah, here comes Narciss. Shields as well. We'll probably be dead here, actually, if he AoEs. Actually, he's locked out. Maybe no AoE. Oh, well. That's going to be it. Yeah, GG. Yeah, we gave ourselves some shields, and then we got wrecked by the Narciss here. The Arbus actually was pretty good, right? The two-turn stone skin. Mm. Maybe if Rodos didn't weak hit, then... If Rodos didn't weak hit, and if Rodos one-shot Arbus, then we win. But Rodos weak hit, and it's probably questionable whether Rodos would one-shot Arbus anyways. 
So then we lose. Maybe if Wukong stole the stone skin by chance, then we win. But it was tough. Our uh, Rotos didn't really have another target, right? We either target Arbus or we hit into the stone skin and Korra. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, this guy's uh, probably not in the same uh, league as me. Uh, but yeah, we got a minute and a half to look for a, another um, another opponent. So let's see if we can find one. If not, then that's going to be in the, the end of the video. Oh, we found this guy again. Uh, we played this guy earlier. 7,400 player. It's going to go first this time. Let's see if we can get Armands. Okay, so we do get Armands. Uh, who do you want with Armands? I guess we go Taras Armands here. Then he's going to go like Narciss and Korra, I guess. Is the usual. Let's see where this goes. Narciss Makage. Okay. Uh, I know he has a Harima. Sure, we'll go with the monkey. It seems like a showcase for uh, Wukong, this this uh, this PvP session. See what his last support will be. Who are we picking last? Maybe we go Arbiter. Let's see. Maybe we go Arbiter. Gives us a chance to outspeed. Okay. Who are we banning? We're banning probably Tormund here. Go Arbiter. Ban Tormund. We have three speed leads, so we probably should go first. I mean, see if he could be faster, right? Uh, okay. All right. Let's see what we can do here, guys. We got Armands in. We got Armands in against the 7,400 player. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to go first, most likely. Boost up. We banned the Torment. Boost up. Let's see if we can lock him down. Stone skin everywhere. Feels bad, man. Okay, lockouts. Who do we want to control here? Can we hit against her? So that's kind of a bit of a pain. So I think we go after the Seafy here. Sheeped. All right. She can full stun everybody. We have a couple sheeps, not too much. Nope. This is going to be trouble. This is going to be trouble. Yep, this is going to be trouble. Well, that's it. That's going to be it. Oh, he's giving us the stun here. Ah, that sucks. That's too bad. That's too bad. Our man's going down there. That's too bad. If we can, if we kept our man's up, maybe it would have worked out. Let's see if we can blast some people here. Oh, not enough. That was not enough. All right, GG, man. Maybe GG here. Yeah, GG. Big hit from the Mountain King here. Yeah, I mean... The uh, double force champion here, and then the Armands did work, right? We did the, we did the triple stun here, uh, but then we, I don't think we stunned the Mountain King. So he did weak hit against the Mountain King, um, and then Armand's uh, sheep ability was on cooldown, so we couldn't sheep the Mountain King. So it uh, didn't work out here because obviously he had stone skin, so stone skin uh, kind of checked our Armands quite a bit at the beginning. After that, the sleep on the Wukong definitely hurt. Double sleep, right? Makage, Sifi, double sleep on the Wukong. Definitely, definitely hurt. Um, but yeah, I mean, just a way to test them out. Didn't get them in too many fights today. 
Um, what do we got? We got two fights here. Both times, actually, he lost. Uh, we lost the fight, actually, both times. This one was like, I took a little bit of a chance, right? I picked four supports, try to CC him. Uh, we had a really bad draft going on against him. Uh, there was no way out of it. So we just kind of went with a little bit, a uh, little bit risky, risky play. Went, what do we do? We do four and four today. So 50% win rate. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of expected at this level, I think. Uh, as I get more comfortable with Armands, I think uh, we should be starting to do a little bit better. But you see here, Narciss, almost every single fight. Yeah, he's actually in every single fight except for this one fight. And I think the only reason why he was not in this one fight is because the guy picked Taras and there was no reason for him to pick Narciss. But every fight, Narciss is in every fight. So, yeah, a little bit annoying there. Seeing Mikage quite frequently, too. She's in more than half the fights, which is interesting as well. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it for the fights today. Went 4-4, four and four, not super great. Uh, we, we went up one spot. Win rate slowly dropping, or win rate slowly dropping. We came into we came into gold 4, I think, with like a 70% win rate, and we were slowly losing, uh, slowly losing percentage points very, very, very slowly. So... Anyways, let's look at the champions here real quick that we use today. Wukong, it's almost like a Wukong showcase. Wukong is very good today. Like I said, he's good against um, he's good against Taras and he's okay against Narciss. He Narciss does have the single target block revive, but I mean that's going to be good against anybody, uh, not just Wukong. Uh, but Wukong does survive the um, AOE blast, giving him a chance to one shot the team. Uh, so there's my Wukong, my Warlord it hasn't changed. Arbiter showed up in one fight. We lost that one. Arman, so this guy's the star of the show, but we didn't get him um, in too many fights. Got him in two fights. He got banned probably like four times or something. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, after we get the five star blessing, he's going to get a little bit of a boost. I think for masteries, it might change this up. It might be going for Harvest Despair. So every time he lands a stun, he gets to place a, sh a leech. This doesn't really do anything. Damage reduced doesn't do anything because he's going to die in basically one hit, anyways. Um, so applying leech might be useful for somebody like Taras to gain, gain some healing and stuff, but yeah, so there's my Rotos. That doesn't change. Sifi doesn't change. Mi Mikagi hasn't changed. Taras hasn't really changed. UDK showed up in one fight. Arima haven't changed. And then we have uh, Tormund. Tormund showed up in one fight, wasn't super effective. You need some blessings, right? You need some, you need some accuracy, probably a little bit more accuracy or at least crit damage to make him hit a bit harder. But uh, yeah, he's a niche pick anyways. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fights. Uh, I'll be trying to put up, you know, obviously more regular PvP videos. Um, it's, you know, there's a lot of things going on. It's a busy, busy time. So I'm doing my best with the content. So bear with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, of course, and for asking for it. I do appreciate that as always. Um, hopefully you have a great um, end to your day and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.